Jack, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm just waiting for the robot rebellion to begin. <laughs> what? The robot rebellion? I mean, it's gonna happen. And if you stay ready, you don't need to get ready. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Robots are good. They're, they're helpful. Oh, really? Because the first ever mention of a robot was in this play I found and it did not end well. Spoiler, killer robots. Can I see that? The very first mention of a robot was in fact about them, uh, turning on humankind. See, I told you. It was in this play in 1921, Rossum's Universal Robots. Of course, long before they were known as robots, people had been dreaming of creating artificial humans and even giving it a go. But real life robots didn't really hit their stride until the 60s. Meet Shaky, the awkward, slow and slightly twitchy robot built by Stanford Research Institute in the US. While previous robots had to be programmed to do one thing at a time, Shaky could learn on the go to perform tasks like moving around a room without bumping into things and rearranging simple objects, which, okay, doesn't sound that impressive, but it was for the time. And it got a lot of people excited about the possibility of artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, a different sort of robot was shaking things up at General Motors. Unimate, a robotic welding arm, had joined the assembly line as the world's first working industrial robot. It was in the 80s that the robot revolution really got going. Automated production lines became really common, and companies like Honda set up humanoid robotics programs, with the aim of building robots to be more, uh, human-like. Okay, so one play said robots are going to take over the world. Uh, actually, so have countless books, movies, TV shows. I'm sure there's at least one song and probably a painting. But robots are good. They're helpful. These days, the robotics industry is huge. And most of that is thanks to huge developments in artificial intelligence. That's when machines are programmed in a way that lets them observe, learn and react to their environment, kind of like us. And it's seen a rise in the amount of jobs that robots can do, whether it's industrial robots that perform repetitive simple tasks or help us keep our homes clean. There are exploration robots that help us learn more about places we can't get to or that are too dangerous for humans to go. There are medical robots that help out in, well, medical situations, and robots that can help make the impossible possible. Scientists are constantly working on making robots smarter, and some reckon that one day we will manage to make machines that actually think like humans. But that's a fair way off. As for robots taking over the world, well, there have been some rogue bots that maybe we should keep an eye on. No, I will rule the world and you will be my subject. Eh, they seem harmless. And I think it's safe to say they're probably more interested in taking out jobs first. In fact, experts predict that robots could take over 40% of jobs in the next decade. Although they'll also help to create new jobs, some of which don't even exist yet. And many people say there are still plenty of jobs that robots won't be able to do, like reporting on BTN, hopefully. I really don't think you need to worry about robots taking over. Oh, you're probably right. I guess I can be a bit of a drama queen sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's all in your head. Yeah, it's all in your head. Well, that was odd. <laughs> Anyone would think you're a robot trying to convince me not to be worried about robots. <laughs> <laughs>